Hi guys, a slight change in plan with this Timber Kits series. I made the two models that I'd got, the Dragon and the Pianist, and what I thought I could do was assemble this battery drive unit and switch it between the two of them. But reading the instructions, that isn't going to work. Um, you, you basically fit it onto the bottom of one of them, glue them in place. There's also another problem that when I initially read the instructions, because I thought I'd make this first and then make the models, I read, it says here, when the model is complete, decide how to arrange the wooden components of the drive base. So you had to make the model first and then decide how you're going to put the base together. What I didn't read was down here it says read the instructions for the model and the battery drive before you start work. The model must be made first and use the battery drive sorry and to use the battery drive the cr handle crank and the diameter 12 by 12 spacer have to be discarded and the plain pulley and diameter 12 by 5 spacer glued onto the dra drive shaft instead so what that means is these two bits that I've glued on here we don't want on there We should have glued that on there. Uh, I should also, yeah, with that spacer. So that should be on there. Now there's a good chance I can actually get these off by splitting them to get them off and then put that on there. So that's what I'll probably do. On this one, I could do the same thing, but that base is too small anyway, so it won't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on here, and for this one I've modified the radio control servo by taking the electronic circuitry out of it, directly connecting these wires onto the little motor in there, and modifying, there was a little bit of plastic in there that stopped it turning all the way around. I've taken that out, so now this one just runs as a low gear motor and I reckon I can probably fit that under here somewhere I'll need to put a gear, big gear on there anyway but I should be able to drive that from this and possibly even hide a battery up underneath somewhere although when I say hide it won't be hidden because that's all open under there. So that's my plan. This one I'll do with that. And this one I'll do properly. So we need to decide how we're going to assemble the box. make it work. And if we can have the switch over in that hole, we need to position this so that the pulley, when we fit it on there, is going to overhang this side. So the motor, let's move that out of the way.
motor comes, sticks out of there. Oh, it's got a tight fit, but yeah, it's going to stick out of there. That pulley needs to be on there. So somewhere in there, there should be a shaft. Oh, there we are. tight fit but it looks like that's got to be tapped in there somehow and that's going to sit over there like that pushed all the way home rubber band from there into there Sits on top of there. Oh, actually, that might have to be at that end somewhere. Because that's going to sit on top of there. And we need enough room to go from there up to there. Because that's going to be up there. Okay, I'm going to have to do some measuring. Well, that's the first modification done. I just crushed the spacer that was there behind that. That got that off and we also managed to twist this off the end here. So now I need to fit that on there with a spacer behind it. Uh, pulley on there, spacer on there, I mean, bit of glue. We've got a little bit of play. Alright, leave that to dry. We've got two drive uh, bands. Just to get some idea So it's going to be on the back of there
Okay. I've just got to go through there. It's a good tight fit. push that through a bit further. I want to be gentle tapping that. don't want to break any of this. I'll do that off screen. Right, that's pushed through there so it lines up. Get a couple of batteries so we can check it actually works. All right, a couple of my rechargeable batteries there. Okay, that looks okay. So we have to glue that on there somewhere. Should be okay. Piece under there. Yeah. Okay, I'll do a bit of glue in there then. This wants to go on there. I'll leave that for a minute. Oh no, if I take the pulley off. Yeah, I can glue that in place.
It's gonna go on there. Leave that to dry. I could probably do with a bit of weight on top. Let's see what I can find. For the piano player, I'm going to use this cardboard pulley that I made. I actually made it for one of my rubber band powered cars. Well, no, sorry, electric powered cars, but it was a rubber band on the start again. For the piano player, I'm going to use this cardboard pulley that I've made. It's four thick discs of cardboard glued together. I've drilled a big hole in it so it'll go over that wooden spacer on the end of the main shaft. It's on the opposite end to that one. This piece of plastic that I put on here is just to stop any glue that runs out of here actually sticking itself to the piano and then when that's set I'll pull that out of the way. So I'll put a nice load of glue on that because the same wood glue that I've used on the build should stick the um, cardboard. For the piano player, I'm going to use this cardboard pulley that I've made. It's four thick pieces of cardboard, thick discs that I've glued together. I've drilled a nice big hole in there that matches the size of that wooden spacer that's on the end of the main shaft. This bit of plastic I've just put over there temporarily so that the glue that I put on there doesn't stick it to the piano. So I'll put some wood glue on there because that should stick the cardboard as well. And then get this out of the way and attach our little drive motor underneath. I'll do it with hot glue temporarily just to check it all works. It's got a bit of clearance, so we'll leave that to dry. While I'm looking at motorising my Dragon and piano player, I thought I might have a quick look at motorising this very simple automata. 
pterodactyl. That's got a main shaft that goes straight through to the other side. So I've just cut three discs of thick cardboard and I'm going to glue them together to make a pulley and then I'll fit that on there. It'll be a good sized pulley as you can see. This is cut from an old book cover. And then I'll probably fit another one of these servos down here somewhere or somewhere around. May even cut a hole for it. And we should be able to motorise this one as well. So I'll just put some, I've got Ultimate Craft glue here, which is a clear drying acrylic glue. Cost me about, about a pound, slightly less. In fact, it may have even been two for a pound at one time. But I'll just glue that together and put all those clips on it to hold it still while it dries. Does tend to uh, squeeze out round the edges, so I'm just filling that in, smoothing it off. Probably doesn't need as, need as many clips as I'm using. They just happen to be available. Alright, we'll leave that one to dry. Hopefully the glue's dried by now. So... the on off switch. push fit. Don't seem to want to stay there. Hmm. Oh, that's better. Just my must be my eyesight. Mm -hmm. 
there. I don't think that's going to last for two minutes, but <laughs> no, that didn't stick at all. Well, we can fix that later. I want to see it working. on there. One of those goes on there. That goes on there to stop it sliding off. That goes on there. Okay. That's going to go on There. Right, not happy with that because that lines up like that. And that's overhanging at the front. I could push it like that. It's going to be a bit tight, I think. Just hold it still. Oh well, working. that clip it in place. Yeah. So, that's the first one working. I'm not sure whether I do actually want to glue it on there or not, just in case I want to use it for something else. So the fact it works is good enough. It's got the right sort of speed to it as well, hasn't it? Not too fast. So. Turn that one off. Let's see what we can do to this one. I'll turn my hot glue gun on. And I'll glue this under here. I'll pinch one of those um, rubber bands. Yeah. I'll do that and we'll see if that works. Hot glue gun time. I've just used the bare minimum bit of hot glue to hold that servo in place. And I haven't got an on off switch at the moment. We just have to plug the battery in. The speed is about right.
Yeah. So that works. <laughs> I think he's being rude to me. The reason I used a minimum amount of hot glue on that is I'm going to take that off again. So I want to see if I can get that thing going with exactly the same setup. I'll add a pulley onto there. That's the one that I'm making just there. I'm pleased with that. I've just got a sneaking suspicion it might be better going the opposite way around. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. To complete the series, I've got my pterodactyl here, which is a completely different wooden kit. And did have the handle on this side. But the other side was convenient to fit the pulley onto. I'm not entirely sure which way round it's supposed to turn to make him look like he's flying. I've tried it both ways. You'll notice at the moment I got the rubber band actually crossed over here so it's going the opposite way to the way I set it up initially. Now I'm just not sure which way makes him look like he's flying. I'll just do it the other way so you can see it the other way around. I've taken the cross out so he flies the opposite way. But I really can't make up my mind which looks right. I don't think it's anything worth worrying about. It works. So I'll leave it at that. We've got three working automata.